artist don't tell nobody foundation of his being. He don't do that. Because he may get jeopardized in some of his ideas and the thing of scorn could be pointed at him if he make a blotter in it. See? So an uh, artist is out of his mind to explain uh, the distance that he traveled in his way. He don't do that. He couldn't be a real artist. Now the fella that pictured uh, Christ when he was on the cross, I don't know who, I, that was before my time, I don't know who that artist was, but then how they, they made him like we can see. <laughs> but if he didn't know it, then when he was making him, he wouldn't have did it. <laughs> 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 he wouldn't have did it. He did something else. When I went to free school, I used to make it in chewing gum, rolls them, something like a spread out, mash out. But when uh, Paul said, when I passed that and got to the place that I grew stronger, and other things that I could go to the drugstore and uh, hardware and buy, then I forsook them little things that I started off with. And uh, and from then on, I grew stronger and stronger. See, from then on. Well, that, that, that's where artists go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't ever complete. When you're finishing up one thing, something else comes in view. Keep you busy. Well, I said to myself the other day, I'm just going to quit this business. But no, I can't do that. No. That's my talent. The first material that I started, uh, uh, working on, uh, they carried them away, and I had to rebuild again of a lot of stuff. You now that devil there, it belongs to Andy, mm -hmm. and the pig belongs to myself, and uh, the drunken man belongs to Miss Ramona. They paid me to let it continue remain here. Now this devil here, he represents people of the day. And uh, he's the boss of a lot of things, the devil. He's the boss of a lot of things. Power was given to him way back when God took him in heaven. The devil had power, and uh, God had him kicked out of heaven because he was about to destroy the situation. But when he come out, he brought the third star out. Read your Bible. He didn't come out naked. He went back and got the third saw, and he come out with it. That means power. So we got him today. In many things, he is powerful, and he ain't nothing but the devil. <laughs> now, <clears throat> this fellow here, he's a drunkard. That goes ahead and say again that today we have Many just drinking. And uh, he is just about to his limit. See? He looks pitiful. He, just got, he got his load. Just about it. But the devil here wants him to take another drink. One more drink. And if he takes that drink, remember over there, he done knocked that out. 
He got an off just now. <laughs> That's the devil's business. Throwing so and so up on the face of the earth, seeking them who he can destroy. That was the foundation of him once in time. So, that about clears it up. I used to have Dr. Crawford Long here, but they took Dr. Crawford Long, they carried him north. And he's up there now somewhere. Dr. Crawford Long, he operated on Mr. Vanderbilt. Took a tumor out of the back of his neck. And Dr. Crawford Long was the first to use ether. Read your history. Dr. Crawford Long. And how did they find this ether? A nurse was walking her patient one day and they passed a position and they smelled something that made them get dizzy. That was this ether buoy. And she reported it and went back and uh, they, every time they would get at that point, the group was with them that all would get dizzy. And they examined it. They got some of the leaves and pounded them together and come to find out that that plant was a ether bush. And they pounded it together and sent it off to a medical society and they analyzed it and they found that it obtained power that could put so much dizziness on a person that he couldn't realize or she couldn't realize what you were doing and that was ether. And I fixed the sun and the moon. Yeah, the full moon and the half circle of the sun to consume that part of mixture that I had made up that I could have threw it away. Artists, he don't throw away nothing. No, he don't do. They don't throw away nothing. If it's in wood, they preserve it, and if it's in mortar, they preserve it. He couldn't be an artist if he throw away his material. <laughs> well, that shoe uh, come in on the bosom of a storm once. Have him uh, out on Atlanta Highway, 78, to be the best. And uh, I and a guy were walking uh, out on the Davis where that, uh, that storm had passed over and found that shoe. And I told him, look, and he said, oh, that's a shoe and it's never been worn. Yeah. So he said uh, to me, what you gonna do with the shoe? And I said, I'm gonna put it in my car and carry it home. So I brought it home, went downtown and had the shoe, a uh, picture made of it. And I bought the material and framed the box up for it. And uh, many, many people come by here and look in that, that, that shoe. Well, I had some printing on, uh, you know, introduction about the shoe, but the rain washed it off. But however, that didn't stop the people from liking to look upon that shoe. And, uh, School was going on here, so this crowd of kids uh, were looking at it, and one boy told another one, they said, come on here, boy, he said, let's go. He said, let that shoe alone, he said, that's, that's God's way. <laughs> he said, well, I ain't bothering this, I'm just looking at it. He said, I know, but come on, he said, you could go down to the next block and drop dead <laughs> if you fool with that shoe. <laughs> I was sitting over here, I said, well, 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 I'm learning. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> That's a story about the shoe. Well, the pig, I, uh, I used to work at the hotel, CNS Bank now. And uh, I made them cut up meat, you know. I memorized how a hog looked. 
So I got my material together, and I said, well, I'm going to build me a hog. <laughs> And that comes from putting them together, framework, you know, everything has got aligned in. The human bone in a person's body is enclosed with flesh. That's what God made them. And uh, so I got myself together and framework and then building. And when I got the hogs done, I said, well, we got to have some oak frames, which would be little pig. <laughs> so I come to building a little pig. <laughs> and I said, well, the pig you got to be fed and the mama is the one to feed them. <laughs> so I picked the breasts of the mother hog and the little fellows standing up there just helping themselves. <laughs> and there you are. There. Yeah. And now I can just, uh, I go to bed sometimes and with things on my mind, concentrating, and the picture comes to me. I just get up and go get my pencil and dot and dash it like that. Tomorrow morning when the sun rises, I get up and trace them dots and dashes and I got the framework of the uh, end of the year. <laughs> You hear me, don't you? See, I, I just switch from one thing to another. I just have two streets to travel on, and that is in concrete, wood, well, I said three, are drawing. See? Yeah. There's a lot of money in it. Hard break, but there's a lot of money. A lot of hard concrete. Yeah. The pictures uh, speak for themselves. They are, uh, you know, nine out of every ten. Is, uh, the picture explains it. Just like uh, going to Israel, or you name it, Bendik Arnold, or being caught with uh, the secret of uh, the American army. And so quite naturally, every picture that I make uh, speaks for itself. It clarifies itself. Now, Ben DeConnell, yeah, he was going to give the British the secret of the American army, but they caught him. America was slick, too. <laughs> oh, Ben Dick was slick, but America caught the slick. <laughs> that proved that uh, in America they wise people, and they all ain't no ignorant. <laughs> They pull the shoe though, that's what I like about it. <laughs> they they would have undressed him to have got them secrets. Yeah. Because he he had planned uh, to give the uh, British people the inside track on the Americans' whereabouts. See? And that was a dirty shame, you know it? <laughs> huh? That that was really, really mean, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what you call a sellout. Yeah. He didn't get no money. He was worse than Judah was when he received the 30 pieces of silver uh, and uh, uh, portrayed Christ. See? Bendick didn't get a dime out of it. <laughs> Lincoln, uh, he, he was in the days of old, and he, uh, he didn't have a modernized way of being. No. Now I got some of his, his. Uh, I got some of his uh, pictures with uh, him sitting, uh, 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 with a little kid sitting on his lap. Yeah, all over the country. And that's when no Nebuchadnezzar, I believe, uh, uh, had to go out and nip grass seven years <laughs> until he repented and realized that God was the God of uh, Jacob and. Moses and Isaiah and you name it, Elijah. And uh, but he had to get down there and do like God wanted him to do in order that he might retain his throne. But he had to get out from that throne because his people all got uh, lost confidence in him. 
and told him he'd have to go out and nip grass for seven years. Yeah. His hair growing out like hawk claws, and fingernails growing out like bird feathers. Yeah. I used to work in the hotel where the cook had had so many pieces of beef brought in. And I realized how a cow was made. And I'd look at him with the quarters, you know. And so I said one day, I'm, I'm going to make me a cow. I realized how a cow was made. I said, I'm going to make a cow. So I got me some iron. And they're insulated just like the backbone of a cow. Head, legs, and uh, tail. And I fit it together. I molded one side of it. And that chewed out and then I laid it over, molded the other side, and put the two sides together. See? Made a cow. <laughs> then put the legs on. <laughs> then I said, well, the cow has got a bag. They milk them. I go down beneath the <laughs> and made the bag. <laughs> and made the chits. <laughs> one man and his wife come by here one day and they said, she said to him, said, Daddy, said, look, say, that cow look like she give milk. <laughs> said, look at them tits she got. <laughs> I was sitting there now, they kill myself. <laughs> he said, yeah, Ma, said, she do look like she give milk. Well, she does. Just look at it, just look at it. <laughs> so that was... The way the car was made. <laughs> I used to work in the hotel where they would get this meat and I would examine a quarter and I realized that it took two pieces to make an individual when it comes down to a beef. That's crucifixion there. That's <laughs> small item about Christ. Christ was crucified, hung up on the cross, and uh, we said that uh, the toothpick uh, represented uh, death, the sting of death. The Bible says Christ, uh, he held death between his teeth. Huh? So it must have been a sharp instrument. So we pictured the toothpick uh, being a sharp spike of death. So he, he did that and he saved the one that told him when thou goest into thy kingdom, remember me a sinner. And he held that between his teeth, see? And saved that man. Yeah. Told him this day thou be with me in paradise. That was a place of happiness and rest. And the other one says, thou be the son, save yourself, come down off the cross, and we will believe on you. Well, we said that, uh, he was so independent, he didn't think about the death that Christ was going through. And so he was lost. Yeah, he was lost. But the one said, when thou goest into thy kingdom, remember me, a sinner. Uh, he was saved, because Christ came into the world. For the sake of sin. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've been doing it just, just about as long as I've been uh, doing anything. See, I, I just switch from one thing to another. Uh, I'm, I'm working on uh, David. Uh, he, uh, he did a sinful piece of business. That's the foundation of it. The sinful piece of business, David did. And I'm working on that now. He uh, had a liar at the Bible. And if you don't believe what Hall said, then you don't believe the Bible. That's the foundation. 
Uh, he uh, had Uriah. There was a war going on. There always been wars going on. And he had Uriah sent off to the wall where he could have a relationship with uh, Uriah's wife. I was in the war. And I said to myself, what's going to be? Me, as a member of that force, I prepared to take for better off of work. I didn't worry. I felt like if God would be with me, wow, I could be lucky to go and come. See? Well, so the fella said, he, he showed the captain, said, the captain said, listen, say, uh, how many is on this boat? And he told him about 6,000. He said, listen, if this boat was to sink, what would happen? He, he, he looked at him. He was a stout built fella. He said, how much you weigh, soldier? He said, weigh about 190 pounds. He said, listen, there's things under this boat now, floating along here, waiting for something to happen. If this boat was to sink, he said, you would just be a, a damn mess for him. <laughs> he said, that's one thing. <laughs> Throwing none of here, just waiting for it to sink. <laughs> and, say, and then he grabbed you and said, you just be a damn mess for him. <laughs> he said, well, sure. He said, where are you from? He said, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. He said, I tell you, I'll be so glad when this boat makes it landing <laughs> and I'll get off of it. <laughs> so many people who wish to come back to the land of the free and the home of the brave. Honey, you won't see them until you cross it over in that land where they don't return. Uh -uh. We got one of the biggest cemeteries you most ever heard talk of in Europe. Well, as you can see, it ain't nothing but a little white marker. And you can stand east, north, west, south, and look, and all of them are in line. Half of them ain't been brought back to America where they left from. Mm -mm. When we got ready to come back to America after everything, the armistice was signed. Everybody wanted to come back to their native land, home. And I told some of them in my company, I was of this. I wanted. Since I was coming back to America, I want to bring something back for America to be proud of. And uh, some of them said, well, the only thing they wanted was uh, to get on the boat and, and, and get back. I said, I know, but I said, we come over here at Dumbbell. And the thing for us to do is to snap out of that and go back being able to teach somebody something. I said, I'm, I'm going to carry something back. So I went in various places where the manufacturer was and seen them how they make these different things. That was at the peace sign. And when I come back, then I put in practice that that I learned. See? And as uh, I Continue, I, I grew better, better and better, better and better. See, I used to have out there a uh, London Bridge. I crossed that London Bridge. It was made of wood. The British people made it across that big river. And uh, I come back here and I had a whole lot of lumber and I made uh, that bridge and uh, so everybody looked at it in line, see? But nobody in the section had ever built anything like it, see? That shows you that one person can wake up a thousand. I wanted to come back here and I wanted to live in a land of peace and happiness. As it is written up. A beautiful land, the United States of America, is far 
the people who desire a happy life and enough land and territory here in America for everybody. Yeah. They don't have to buy nothing. No way. So, it's worth in St. Charles, it's worth in then for. Somebody got to care for it. Don't the commies will come in the back door and he go all the way through and come out the front door. We support to lay a foundation for uh, people yet unborn to walk upon. We're supposed to be the uh, way blazers that will nap out the way for children dead unborn. Yeah, come out of school like the little fellows were looking at the shoe over there. Uh, that don't know, and they can pick up something that uh, I say or can do. You have seen the sun rise and set in many days. Yeah. It shine down just like it did when I was born. Rise in the east, go over and sink in the west. Oh, I made a one. Yeah. Yeah, he the one dead up on the dot. <laughs> yeah, no more after and that's right up again. <laughs> that's it. Yeah.